And now, ladies and gentlemen, we present the Paramount Theater presents the spectacle of the age, Dagmar. Mr. Sinatra. Yes, ma'am. Why did you call me a spectacle? Well, because you're so good for the eyes. <laughs> oh, there you are. Say, you know, Dag, I was looking for you backstage. Where were you? Oh, I was late because I was talking to one of the musicians. You were talking to one of the musicians? Well, then how come your lipstick is smeared? I didn't talk fast enough. <laughs> you know, he was a trombone player, mm -hmm. and he kept sliding his arms around my waist. <laughs> Not but all of you. <laughs> Lucky thing for you, he wasn't a bass player. You really gotten slapped around. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> Say, uh, uh, Dag, what are you going to do for the folks here at the Paramount, this show? Well, I thought I would sing a song. Good. And uh, recite some poetry that I decomposed. <laughs> well, I, uh, I like good poetry, but let's hear yours. All right. Thirty days has September, April, June, and November. All the rest are 31, except Jack Benny, who's 39. <laughs> Jack Benny, 39? Yes. I got a big secret for you. What? I saw his driver's license, and it says, good for covered wagons only. <laughs> well, I still love good poetry, so I think you'd better sing, huh? Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Bye. Well. Mr. Strudel. <laughs> Will you vamp me, please? <laughs> First, you put your two knees close up tight. You sway them to the left, and you sway them to the right. Step around the floor, kind of nice and light. You twist around and twist around with all your might. <laughs> Please, gentlemen, your union isn't that strong. <laughs> Stretch your loving arm straight out in space. You do that eagle rock with style and grace. Now swing your foot way round, then bring it back. Now that's what I call ball of the jack. <laughs> What I call ball of the jack. That's what I call. I think you're all awfully sweet. <laughs> <laughs> 